Hey free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So I do have some questions for you guys. What do you think is better? Do you think a crit damage relic over here is better or a crit rate relic? So the reason why I'm asking this question is because I want you to think about it. Okay, so for example, if crit rate, right? If you have a crit rate relic, it probably goes up to 53% crit rate as the main stat, which is more than half of the required crit rate that you need on your Asper. Whereas for crit damage wise, it is 85%, it is huge, but is it necessarily better than crit rate? So I'm going to answer this question and honestly, it is just a trick question. But I would still like you guys to think about it and, and probably use this idea to think about how you can calculate the value of your relics through this rather simple exercise. Okay, so the way I think about it, right, is Take a look at, okay, so for example, look at the substats of this relic, right? You have crit rate at 10% and crit damage at 10% at the same time, and they are both equally upgraded and they are both at 10%. So what does this tell you, right? So what this should tell you is both crit rate and crit damage, they grow at the same pace. So they start at the same base of 5% each, and every single upgrade, they increase by yet another 5%. So you can think of it as, let's say crit damage main stat 85%, right? That's how many upgrades worth of stat. So I've done the math for you, 85% divided by 5 is 17, right? So 85% crit damage is worth 17 stat upgrades worth of crit damage. But for crit rate at 53% max, it is somewhere just around less than 11 stat upgrades, or rather relic stat upgrades. So from just this very simple exercise, you realize that actually crit damage as a main stat relic is going to provide you with so much more additional stat that you would otherwise not be able to obtain if let's say you focus on a crit rate relic and you try to make up for your crit damage via the rest of your other relics over here. So in my opinion, I think it's a lot easier to just throw a crit damage relic over here and try to pray for crit rate on the rest of your relics. So for example here, I have 10% here, I have 15%, I have another 15% and of course I had 10% here uh, and 10% and 12%. So all in all, I have a 97% crit rate just by having some crit rate over here and here. But as you can see, my crit damage isn't too shabby as well and that's because I have 85% of crit damage as a main relic. But of course, this is not the entire assessment because sometimes you may need crit rate more than you need crit damage. So for example, the best example, right, Lin Xiao, she needs a ton of crit damage and she doesn't need crit rate at all. In fact, I think there is very little reason why you want to give a crit rate except for, let's say you're, you're afraid that you're going to get jumped at the start and you want a little bit more crit rate to ensure that when she counter attacks with Avatara, she's going to do some good damage rather than just punching with like white numbers, right? So for cases like Lin Xiao then, yeah, probably it might be smarter to just go straight up crit damage all the way. So that's basically a gist of how I like to calculate my stats. But it's actually a lot more deeper than that and I'm not going to go into that for this video. So probably in another video, I'll talk a little bit more about valuing your relics based on the stats that you already have. And of course, I have not even discussed about whether your relics are good enough to even maintain a reliable crit rate of at least 70%. So if you're a newer player or maybe you haven't been going around to grind Kronos all that much, it may still be very reasonable to run crit rate as your Una 2 because that gives you a huge head start to reach that additional 50% damage that you can do by simply just landing free crits. And of course, some characters like Dona actually directly benefit from having crit rate. So as you can see on his passive, uh, when an active ability triggers a crit, you reduce a cooldown of Thundercrack by one turn. Jeez, I do not know why it was so hard for me to read this sentence. But he is just one such example. There are many experts in this game that rely on landing crits in order for some effect to take place. So I guess that's it for this really short video. This is just a very simple overview on how do you compare crit rate with crit damage. So with that said, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more dislike content. And this has been free to play, by the way. And as always, I will see you in the next video.